Hello YouTube. Thought I'd take a minute, look at it, a bunch of Mustang Mach 1s and compare some of them. This is my favorite, uh, I'm pretty sure it's my favorite die cast vehicle is the Mach 1. You can see in the background a bunch of auto rolled. One Kyo show, which size comparison, very, very similar to the auto roll, which we know is true 164th. But I got a new auto roll to uh, add to the collection. 1972 Ford Mustang Mach 1. Uh, most of these are the 71. This year they came out with the 72 and they've released it four times maybe or maybe even five because there is a hobby exclusive. So there might be five releases of it. And it is one that I'll continue to pick up every one of. This does look really yellow now since I got it out of the package. In the package it looked like a lime green. Which I think it is like a lime green. Growing up when I used to see this car at car shows I didn't really care for it. In real life, it's just a huge, enormous car. Of course, auto rolled, you get the opening hood. And this does have a nice stance. Not always the case. The red one. It had a horrible stance when I bought it. The base was not on straight. Has a good stance now. I was able to fix it. But I did have to screw it apart. And reset the base. <laughs> and this one... I'm going to have to do the same thing too. It's horrible. Which is a bummer because this is probably my second favorite variation of this. But you can see a gap in the base. So worst one I've ever seen. So right after I'm done with this video, this one will get drilled and fixed. I hate to drill apart an auto roll, but I mean, that's ridiculous. I'm not going to keep in the collection with a stance like that, so I already own it and already have it. Might, might as well fix it. Next is a black one. This one is my favorite color variation. It just looks really awesome in black. I did not get out one of the ultra reds. I do have the both release uh, two or release three where it doesn't have the fin. I have both variations of that. I do not have the ultra red and I have never even seen an ultra red without the fin. And I've been looking and collecting ultra reds for almost three years now. And I have never even seen them ultra red without a fin. Hopefully one day I'll find it or come across it. So the Kyosho does not have the detail on the hood. I'm not sure what year it is. But it has a really nice metallic paint job. The metallic flake in it is like two scale. Get lens front headlights, which you don't get with the auto roll. I wish auto roll did lensed headlights. I do like how the bumpers and everything are always part of the casting, but 
I do wish they did the lens to headlights and tail lights. And you get lens tail lights. Very happy to have that in the collection. Then I got three Johnny Lightnings we're going to open up and compare them. So the first one's in blue and silver. Which I got two auto rolled that are blue and silver. This is uh, playing Manus Air. Year is always hard to find on these. Always struggle finding the year. I don't know the year on this. Right off the bat, it's a very heavy casting. It's heavier than the auto rolled. Does have an opening hood. Of course, the Kyosho don't have no opening features. Nice metallic flake. Pretty to scale. Now, I think it has the least detail on the rear. My camera will focus. Why it's not. Boy, it's really acting goofy. There we go. Auto roll definitely has more detail. Johnny Lightning, a hair larger, so might be one sixty eighth scale or one sixty fifth, slightly larger than one sixty fourth. Rolls real nice. quite a heavy casting next we have the 73 Mach 1 and a burn orange try and find the year on this one it's playing Manus 1997 the first one had rubber tires and metal base, Johnny Lightning. This one has plastic tires. And pretty difficult to get out. So these two piece it might even be a three-piece plastic tire. They're not too bad that Johnny did. Some people hated them. But they rolled real nice. They're hard to stay on shelves because they always want to roll off them. And the last one is a Johnny Lightning in yellow. I'm happy to add these Johnny Lightnings to the collection, but I'm not going to go after all of them. They just re-release this casting. There's a red one I might go after. But it's one of them castings they've released a ton of times. And I'm sure they're going to continue to. This one does have the rubber tires.
chrome metal base with plastic for a minute. This one is a bright yellow. So now you can compare the bright yellow one to the auto rolled, which the auto rolled is all factory colors. But I thought we'd take a minute look at these mock ones. Please make sure to like and subscribe and please leave comments. Thank you.